In our last video, you already saw us exploring the most beautiful village in Switzerland, Lauterbrunnen. This village is just breathtaking, and it's amazing walking around in Lauterbrunnen. After exploring every corner of this village, it was time to see this valley from above. Yes, we went hiking, and of course we went for the most beautiful hike in this area, the hike to Tansbudeli. This hike just blew our mind. It was by far the most beautiful day hike we have ever done. It provided us the best 360 views of the entire mountainscape in the Lauterbrunnen Valley. So join us on a hiking adventure. And we'll also share with you a lot of tips for doing this hike yourself. We are in Gimmelwald and from here the most beautiful hike in Lauterbrunnen will start. We're going to Tansbodelli. Really excited. And it's uh, 12, I think a bit past 12. Uh, we decided to start a bit late so that we can walk back when the sun is going down a bit and maybe that gives some beautiful views. It's so nice about Switzerland, you have everywhere these water things and it's I think straight from the ground. So nice. It's great from the glacier. Oh, maybe from the glacier. Mm. We started our journey from the car park at Stegelberg, which is about 5 kilometers from Lauterbrunnen. You can also get here by public transport. However, the starting point is in Gimmewald, so you have to take a gondol up to the mountain from the car park. And from Gimmewald, your adventure starts. We walked all the way in a circuit back to the Stegelberg car park. So we are like one hour, one hour into the hike and it's pretty chill. We first went down from Gimmelwald and then when you're down to the river you go up and now we're going up but it's not that steep so yeah it's really chill and it's beautiful forest. It's uh, yeah. really happy. It is, it's just such a cool hike guys, really cool hike, like we were right down in the valley and there's like crazy tall high mountains and then you see those beautiful Swiss villages, some crazy beautiful waterfall and it's not busy at all this trail. You can talk American. Me too. I'm eating for like half an hour because the stuff is everywhere. We're having these protein bars, which is great to get some protein in and it's really filling. But it's so sticky and I think we almost burn the same amount of calories eating it and chewing yeah. it than what it gives us. But uh, yeah, it's a handy snacky. And mm. having that on beautiful places. Now I just need some water to flush my mouth. Wow, we are now on a point that we see almost all the cities in this valley here. We see Wengen, Muren, uh, I think a little part of Lauterbrunnen. It's really amazing and we're just going higher and higher and we're going over the mountain there and I think then we see all those snowy mountains. Wow. Yay! Woo! 20 minutes, Adi. 20 minutes. Woo. Oh, the other day I said to Adi, I'm never really impressed by waterfalls, but behind me, I think it's the most impressive waterfall I've ever seen in my life. I haven't been to America or so, so that explains. Adi, do you see it? Yeah. You have to zoom so in. Cool. Uh, so you hiked all the way up here? So maybe now there's nobody. We are almost on top of the world, feels like. It's like a really cool flat spot all the way up here. 
who would have thought this spot would be there? And now I'm gonna fly some drone and show you some panoramic view because it's really cool, really, really cool. such a crazy place that it's just so overwhelming where to look where to enjoy the views where to take the photos it's insane when you do this hike you, you you see everything you don't miss out on anything like you see the glaciers you see i think even the jungfrau uh, you see the valley you see it's all the insane. villages like it's it, insane it, what do you want more if you're here yeah. it's and the cool part is it's a circuit so it's like a whole yeah. loop so and the going back path is like also really really cool but it's super harsh crazy harsh so you just put some sunscreen it's really nice day it's really beautiful day like we had views of everywhere so yeah when you're doing this hype hike just make sure you have an eye on the weather but even i think if, if you do a hike this hike on a misty day it would have a completely different feel and one more tip bring enough water we just took one liter of water and there's no filling points so like I'm super thirsty, crazy, but we don't know how long it will take back. It is just such an incredible surrounding around us and we would highly recommend to take the route what we did because in the when because we started our trek like in the super afternoon so I'm just also gonna focus on the trail because we started our trek in the afternoon so then we go through all the forest so you, like the sun is obviously not on your head the whole time and while going back it's all open like this so you can enjoy the view of this entire valley, enjoy the view of all the waterfalls. So yeah, I really recommend to do this way. The sun is setting, like I would love to just sit here and just enjoy the whole surroundings. But we have to rush because going back is quite long and we don't know how long it's gonna take. And it's uh, around 6.30, the sun sets around, I think 8.30 or nine. I think it is one of our best day hikes. It is just so cool, so please, please, please must do. Oh, oh. No, he's going out, Mom. He wants to go in, Mira. Yeah. How do we do this? Huh? How do we do this? I don't know. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> and now he turns his legs to us. us. No. <laughs> Come here. Oh no, what he's going to go you? in. What do we do? Look? Yeah, I don't know. So finally we succeeded. <laughs> I wish we had bear spray. <laughs> bear spray? Oh, baby, where's the bear spray? We need it. <laughs> <laughs> the last part well, was not easy, not easy. It's a long hike. It's really a day long, long hike. Look at Mira's back, guys. <laughs> That's how I feel now. <laughs> so now we are maybe, I think, uh, 20 minutes away from the car park. Hope so. But we are just so done with this. But yeah, this hike is uh, not easy if you're a regular hiker. If you have done, you know, quite a few day hikes, long day hikes. 
that it's fun because after the lookout point it's all downhill and get your hiking sticks I don't have hiking sticks I broke mine last time you're gonna need it when you're going all the way down yeah but it's it's so fun it's like so much worth it the views what we got like the whole yeah, everything was just so worth it dugouts Avalanche, yeah, you can't you hide, in hide here. here. Crazy, you've never seen it. That was a nice hike. We hope you enjoyed the video, and it's a lot more coming for this entire trip. So, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.